Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is day number two in Colorado, technically day number three, but the first day doesn't count. So this is day number two in Colorado. I'm all dressed up because I already went out. I got some coffee, I got some breakfast, and now we're gonna go to Vail to go skiing. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy that. Today's vlog, we're gonna try to conquer two different things. One thing is skiing, and I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna be recording everything else during skiing, try to formulate that into the best possible uh, look for everyone here and the second thing we're gonna figure out is I want to try out some off-road drifting Craziness, so I'm gonna feel find a field check it out. and I'm gonna go drifting So I hope you guys are ready for all this jazz um, Other than that, let's get right to it. I'm gonna go pack my bags all right. Let's get to it. Why don't we? We have arrived to Vail, Colorado. I hope you guys are exci as excited as I am. Um, today, we're just gonna go skiing first, like I said in the beginning. So, first things first, let me get this leather coat off and let me put it on this fluffy thing. I already got my ski boots and snow gear and all that stuff. My skis are right here. I got it all from Frisco, because guys, it, was exp it is expensive in Vail. So if you can get something for ch cheaper, Always go for cheaper, right? Look at the snow gear. It's so comfortable. Um, but just letting you guys know, I might try vlogging with the GoPro. Like we did for uh, snowmobiles yesterday. I put one on the helmet and I'm also gonna take a hand extension. I'm gonna see how I can make it work, but we're gonna figure that out. Probably won't have as good as my quality, but I just don't wanna ruin my camera. Cost too much money and can't lose all the money all at once. So, with no further ado, Let's get going, guys. That hurts so bad. Ow. Oh. All right. Guys, I just wiped out so hard. Oh, it's not even funny, it hurt. My shoulder still hurts right now. It's like right here. Oh, but it's okay. Then we went to the we went on a double diamond and we're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. I hit something over there. I don't know if it was like a different slope or something, but wiped out completely. But that brings me to start. At least now I can start this one thing that I tried to see where I can start this with you. But since I wiped out, I need a little break. <laughs> Let's just start off with this. Guys, yeah, uh, last vlog we talked about how we need to be motivated to do different things and i hope that you guys all wrote down in the comment section in the last vlog if you guys didn't go back to that write down in the comment section what do you guys want to do five things that you want to do this year to make sure that you accomplish them like for me it's getting good at photography mastering video editing video video skills trying to get as good as possible learning how to properly vlog and also graduating with a bachelor's degree bachelor's degree is almost done i only have a few more months left of that classes just started today monday the 11th so guys i'll see you in a second i'm gonna go just somehow get down this double diamond and uh i'll see you guys at the top of the hill maybe i have a little surprise for you all right let's do it Alright, 
right, let's go back to the ski lift. All right, we're back. Oh, this is the top of Vale. And it is a nice place. It's a nice view as you guys can see all around me. I hope you guys can see all this. Let's go back just a little bit. Guy Red Bull. So let's toss into the snow, make it a little colder. And I wanted to finish off where we started with. So guys, since we all wrote down all what we're going to be doing, I want you to start pursuing them more and more. And one of the ways that you could be doing this is every single day, if you guys post it on your wall, if you guys put it on there, uh, you guys can be looking at that. The second thing and most important thing is praying to it. See, God knows the desires of your heart, but he also wants you to start showing him those desires, start speaking to him about those desires. Whenever you start doing this, God's gonna be able to bless you a little bit more and more and more and more into pursuing this, whatever you want to do. The last thing you want to do is just give up. Oh, it's not working. It's not going to work out. Whatever. Forget this. I'm done and walk away. Because at that point, what's the point? What's the whole point? You, you got to put some effort into it. And that effort can be done on your knees. When you, whenever, you know, any obstacle in life comes into your life, start it off with praying on your knees. That will probably be the best solution for every single time. Uh, whew. That is some... That is hot. All right, let's take this off. Whew. I want to have a nice cold drink right on top of the mountain top. Ooh. This is so good. So, you know what I really want to do one time? One time I'm gonna get myself those portable coffee makers and I just wanna go on top of a mountain, pick up some, some snow just like this and just put it into the maker and then just make myself some coffee right on top of the mountain. That'd be so dope, I just can't wait to do that. For now I'll just stick to drinking Red Bull cause carrying all this stuff would be difficult. All right, why don't we get back out there. See, the reason why I'm so focused on making sure that we pray, like that's why I said, if a problem occurs, just pray, pray about it. The reason why I'm so focused about that is because in my life, I've understood one thing from God, is that you gotta win the battle in the heavenlies before you start doing something. You see, the devil is our enemy. He wants to oppose any little detail that we do. He does not want us to be successful. He does not want us to have good careers, good jobs, good everything. He wants our focus to be as far away from God as possible. God wants us to be successful. He wants us to be successful in all areas of life because we are his children. We are the children of the king. And because of that, this one thing I understood is that you gotta win the battle in the heavenlies before you start doing something physical. So even like taking a fast, a two to three day fast, before you start something, before you do something, so that God's hand would be on that. That's so powerful, that's so much more therapeutic for your life than going about stressing how you're even going to start it. You know, I wish I had somebody here with me to start recording, you know, while I'm like doing some crazy sequences and things like that, but I don't, it's just me. So. Yeah, what? By the way, watch out over here because last time I went there's rock and it's just ice on the on the ones that are like brown. <laughs> so we know that if we win the battle in the heavenlies, if we win that place right in our secret place, if we get on one-on-one -on -one with God, things in our life will be much more successful. See, it's not a prosperity gospel. It's not. It's literally your right with God. God gives you the right to seek Him first. Seek the kingdom of God first and all of the other things will be given to you. And you see, they'll be put on. God knows what you need. If you seek His face, if you seek His face, 
he will literally start to open up doors, open up places for you that maybe before they were not open. Maybe before they were, they were and nothing was even show close to being open. But he's gonna start opening those places for you. So guys, seek the kingdom of God first and everything else will be given to you. But what is it to seek the kingdom of God? You know, sometimes, oh, this is loud. You know, sometimes we go so far without actually understanding what it is to seek the kingdom of God first. You know, if you, if you guys have been watching from the first vlog until now, you guys have realized how important the secret place is for my life. Reason being is because in the secret place, he makes you what he intended you to be. See, God did not intend you to just go around life He's endlessly seeking and endlessly doing things without ever actually having a proper motive, a proper objective in your life. Instead, God wanted to give you a purpose, and a purpose from the beginning of this time is to worship Him. See, we were made to worship. We were made to grow in worship. And if we stop everything that we do, and we start to worship the King, all of a sudden the Kingdom of God comes down into our room. He Himself shows up because He comes to, pe to the people that worship Him. You know, back in Chronicles, we see this proper example what I'm talking about, whenever they finished building the temple, they finished doing everything, and then all of a sudden, all the worshipers just went out and started singing out praises, all the trumpets and all the cymbals went together, and then the glory of God, it says, came down into the temple, and the glory of God was so present there that they couldn't even worship anymore. See, that is the true worship. That is what worship is supposed to look like in our lives, what worship is supposed to look like in our hearts. But sometimes we miss it. Sometimes we miss the fact that we do not worship just to just say things only to the ceiling. No, we worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God who was and is and is to come. He is the Lamb of God. He is the one that's seated on the highest throne. His name is above every other name. That's who we worship. He deserves every single one of our praises. And when we bring that to Him, that pure worship, when we bring to Him that pure heart of saying, God, I'm not here for anything else. I'm not here to grow. I'm not in here to prosper. I'm just here to worship you. That is seeking the kingdom of God. Coming into the secret place and understanding that you're just there to worship the king of kings. You're there not to, not to build yourself up to a new level. Not to chase different levels. No, you're there to worship the king. And there in the rest, you will start to grow. Because as you worship, his presence will come. His presence will fill the building and fill the room where you're standing at. And then all of a sudden, you're going to be carrying your presence. And you will be a people of God's presence. That's who he wants you to be. And that is seeking the kingdom of God first. All right, guys. This is the last ride down. We're closing at 3.30 today because there's not as much snow. <sighs> Let's hit it. Let's hit it hardcore. <laughs> guys and we're back just like that so I had a great time skiing today I hope I was able to capture in everything else as perfectly as I could to make sure that you guys got the best possible experience just like I did. Vail is beautiful. Tomorrow we're going to do this again. I probably won't record tomorrow. I'll just say, look back at this video. But uh, all in all, thank you for listening to my thoughts about what I'm going to be doing to my videos. Guys, I hope the message that I was sharing on the slopes really did help you guys. Now we got to go and find a place 
to go crazy on this forerunner uh, as much as we can, of course, before we crash it. And then I'm gonna have to be paying all the insurance fines and all the stuff. Oh my goodness, goodbye. Actually guys, scratch that. Uh, first things first, let's get some coffee. Hey guys, so as I'm looking at it, it's dark. It's getting really dark really quickly. I'm just gonna go find this trail where it starts. Everything's just covered in snow here. And there is a there is a nice little road that I can go by for now. So we're gonna see how it looks like when I get closer to the trail ahead and uh, I'll let you guys know, okay? Guys. This man just helped me get out. Howdy. I was I was dumb enough to go on a trail by myself. Don't ever do that in Colorado. Bad and idea. this is what happened. I literally, I literally just stepped off for like a second. I wasn't even off. Like this is, like I started way out here. And guys, not joking. Whew. Look how big of a hole we had to dig. And this man's gonna help me come through. I walked from here about a mile, two miles uh, down that way, found the city, little town, went to the nearest bar and I was like, I need help. And he stepped up, so, whew. <sighs> so what happened was, I was literally driving, following Apple Maps, it's probably the first mistake and it took me down this road and i thought everything was fine it was a beaten path I, like it looked like somebody already snow plowed the whole thing through it looked great what i didn't know was that the road was probably about eight feet in diameter and even an inch off one side you drop about two feet which is higher i didn't know that i was so confused when all of a sudden i'm driving and all of a sudden the car goes whoop and I'm like, what the heck? Because I was still pretty much on the center, like with both tires. But one tire came too close to the edge and it fell through. And we have ourselves a situation. I'm by myself in the middle of nowhere. There's no cell phone service. There's no, there's nothing. And I'm, li I'm looking at everything. I remember I passed the city about, I don't know, 20, not 20, probably like 10 minutes ago, like, I passed the city and I'm like, okay, I have to run. Well, actually it wasn't just, okay, I have to run. I, I, I started praying. I was like, God, I'm stuck. Please help me. What did I do? And all I got was run to the city. And so I shut the car off and I got myself pretty stuck. I was trying to get out and I got myself pretty stuck. Sorry. My mind was just gone to start recording things as you guys can understand probably. <clears throat> so I ran in the cold, I didn't get my snow gear, I just ran with jeans on and uh, a, the leather jacket. And I just ran as fast as I could to the city. It took me about 25 to 30 minutes to get there. And as I got there, I went to the nearest place, which was a bar. I walked to the bar and I said, listen, I do not know who can help me, but I need some help. I'm stuck. Luckily, there was a guy that was kind enough to come out with me and start digging out the car. Super awesome guy really 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 appreciate it man if you ever see this i really appreciate it because <laughs> i would have been stuck there for hours i mean i would have been pretty i would have been pretty much stuck there all night long it was so scary running back to the to the running to the car sorry running to the bar but i got there i was safe god's hand was on me 
I was scared. <laughs> but at the same time, I was safe. So with that in mind, we started off great. We ended up not so great, but we're safe. The car is broken. The tr- I get I something happened with the transmission when I got stuck. It got stuck in the low gear, and so uh, I called the rental car. They're going to send me out a new new car tomorrow morning. It's okay. Let's move on to day three. <laughs> Why don't we? If you guys have liked this video, I know it's not that much of a happy ending, but it hurts and it's fine. Um, but if you guys have liked this video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. And also, guys, tell me about your crazy situation because this is just blowing my mind. I like it's blowing my mind. No joke <laughs> that I got myself in this situation. I'm the last person to get myself in these situations because I'm usually very careful when I'm on my trip. When I'm by myself on a trip, I'm very careful. So, with that in mind. Leave a comment what in the world happened on, with you on your trip. And I hope today's video helped you. And all in all, peace out.